Hello you guys. So today we're going to be creating a silk pillowcase and um, I'm going to make it match my satin, my reversible satin bonnet, which there's a video up on my channel already. So um, sometimes you just don't feel like wearing a satin bonnet, right? So I'm going to be making a satin pillowcase and it is going to be for this pillow here. Now, I don't just want any old satin pillowcase. So I'm going to, excuse how this one looks. So I'm going to add like some details to it, like this flap on the sides. And this uh, is called an envelope case and I'm going to put it right here in the middle. Okay, so, so you will need your fabric, scissors, measuring tape and of course the pillow you want to make a pillowcase for all right so let's start we're going to measure our pillow all right so you measure the long sides of the pillow okay so we're going to take the measurement now I hope you can see that. So this is 28 and a half inches. And over here, it is 18 and a half inches. Now, for uh, ease, we're going to add one inch to, uh, to our measurements, okay? And let me show you. So like this part here, I have measured and it comes out to about an inch and a half okay so um, for for our front side of the pillowcase right we're going to measure 28 and a half right which is what we have then we're going to put um, one inch for the ease, that's 29 and a half. Okay, you put one inch here, one inch here. So here will be 29 and a half. Here will be 19 and a half. Then we're going to add in that one and a half inch for the flap. So that will be, uh, that will be 31 inches here. One and a half this way will be 19, 20. That will be 21 inches. Okay. Then we're going to add seam allowance. So half inch here, half inch here. Okay. I will write it up in the screen and in the good old description box for you guys. So you will not be um, confused. But yeah, let me measure that out and cut right now. So this is the front part of our silk and or satin pillowcase and like I said it will be let's see 20 20 what did we have 28 and a half inches right then there is one and a half inches for the flap one inch for the uh, for the ease and half inch for seam allowance okay then even on this side right it was 18 and a half inches right 
then there's one inch for ease one and a half inch for for the flap and half inch for the seam allowance okay so the back is going to be exactly like the front but with a, a few changes because i want the center to be able to overlap by a couple of inches okay so i have decided that i want the center to overlap by four inches right and that four inches includes a half inch to to sew then one inch right because we're going to hem the the ends in fact maybe maybe six inches so it will be we'll fold one and a half inch that will be for the sewing and we'll still have one two three maybe three and so maybe maybe five inches okay so we're folding one and a half inch and there's still a good one two three inches overlapping okay so um what we're now going to do is we'll take the full length of this which is uh 31 and a half inches right divide that into two right because like we said the back is going to overlap like let me show you the back is going to overlap like this right so divide 31 and a half into two then add uh, five inches on each side okay okay let me do that again for you guys so um 31 and a half divided by two is 15 three quarter or 15.75 then if you add the five inches we want for the overlap that will be 20.75 or 23 quarter so you can round that up to 21 inches or round it to 20 inches whichever uh or round that up to 20 inches or 20 and a half inches whichever you prefer and again it's going to depend on the fabric you have so i'm going to get the other part of the fabric and we'll do that now okay you guys i have cut out everything for you now i hope it will be easier for you to understand this is the front piece right it's all one piece then this is the back piece but as you can see it's two pieces that will overlap like this right and then when they overlap they are going to form the length of this top piece right i hope because we're going to sew this up, right? And sew up this side as well. And by the way, my fabric wasn't enough. So I had to get creative and join. But this part is going to be um, the part that will be at the bottom when, when this overlays. So people won't really get to see it much, right? So right now, oh, everything is just so easy. I'm going to fold this half an inch i'll fold in here half an inch then fold in one inch and sew right i'll do that to this side and to this side then i am going to sew right sides together okay everything by then everything will be you know i'll sew it like that then flip over and sew around but i will i will show you guys step by step what i'm going to do so have no fear all right okay let's get started so now that everything is ironed out right you can see better what i was talking about right so i folded this 
um, end here by half an inch then folded one inch and sewed it I did that to both sides right so this is our back these two pieces are our back right and um, because I ironed before I started cutting um, I realized that the fabric has grown a bit because there were uh, wrinkles so I'm going to iron that out and trim everything but that is step number one hemming the ends of of the fold over right then for step number two I am going to pin all around right pin the ends right pin them and now pin the side as well first then I'll see that they overlap properly right because no matter what these ends are supposed to be the same are supposed to start at the same sides right so when I pin them and I'm sure that they are overlapping properly then I will pin this this uh, long part here right and when I'm done I will sew everything together make sure you're pinning right sides together okay and also like I said this part is what I want on the inside because of this um, joining that I did here so that is why it's on top but if you don't have a joining then you don't really need to worry about about um, where you are placing it okay so I will pin up everything and come back and show you guys before I sew again all right so you guys I hope you can see uh, what I mean all right um, I have pinned right around and trimmed okay so the next step will be to sew half inch seam allowance all round okay so uh let me go and do that now right so as you can see so as you can see i have sewn all the ends right and if you are not interested in the flap this would just be it right you can just flip this over you can just flip this over and that would be the pillowcase okay let me show you so you can just turn that around and you would have sewn the pillowcase oh, this came out i'll sew that back and this would be your pillowcase but since we're interested in the flap right we're going to make sure we turn out all the corners properly right then remember the amount we took for the flap was one and a half inches so we would then mark one and a half inches down and sew everything right would sew everything up and that ladies and gentlemen would be our satin pillowcase for our healthy hair okay let me go and do that one now and fix this part and i'll be back now actually before i go and sew um i thought it would be important to show you guys this so this fabric by its nature silk satin what have you it wants to slip around but we are going to show you who is boss by ironing it flat and pinning the edges down so that it's easy to sew then the next thing that i did because i am because i'm very bad at you know angles i drew right angles at the corner you know each one and a half inch 
so that when I get there, I know to just get here and turn this way. Right? I don't know if you can see it. To get this out of the way. Right? I don't know if you can see the mark. See if I can find a clearer one. Maybe this one. Right? Hope you can see the mark. All right then, I'm going to sew. So guys, here is our pillow. Okay? And I love it. <laughs> so, um, I love the flap that we have here. Very nice. So, uh, a couple of quick things that uh, I changed, right? Or I would change. I would, instead of a one inch ease, right? I would put two, two and a half inches if you want it to look like this. But, oh, sorry, you guys, my battery died. As I was saying, right? If, like, for your own pillow in, that you're going to be sleeping on, you don't need a snug fit, okay? So I would, for the um, ease, I would put two to two and a half inches, right? I use two inches for this, okay? But if you're sewing like, um, like your cushions in your living room, then you can have a snug fit, okay? You can use that one, one and a half inch. But this, I use two inches. So guess who's happy now? My satin bonnet is matching with my silk pillowcase. And uh, thank you guys for watching till the end. Please like, comment, subscribe, share where you share fun stuff. And if you do try this out, let me know. Um, I'd really be, it'd really be nice to see you guys mix. But in the meantime, subscribe. Don't forget to like the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. I'm out.